Okay, now I can start talking to people in town. I'm sure they'll have stuff for me to do. What's up, Alora? Who comes? I do. Anathara. I was so busy attending the Hala, I did not hear you coming. I'm usually pretty loud about it. Uh I know she separated this Hala from the herd. I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. You'll have to kill her. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. Kill her. I can find no wound on her, but if she's truly ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery. For her sake, as well as that of the others. Like I said, kill her. That doesn't seem like much of a problem. How can you say such a thing? You are a Dalish. You should know of our bond with the Hala. Go, if my anguish means so little to you. <laughs> I can, like, it resets the com the conversation as soon as she, uh, piss her the fuck off. Uh, you know, that is insanely detailed for, like, a woodland tribe of elves. Whatever. Creators watch over you, friend. Wait, a quest? I got a quest for that? Can I kill it? What's up, Hala? Come to check on my Hala and I then have you. Uh, you are the master herder? I am indeed. I am Alora, and it is my place to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. In return, the Hala guide us where we need to go. Fine, what can I do to help? I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. You fucking had to give me a quest. You had to. <laughs> uh, I could kill her quickly if you wish. No, that would not be right. When the time comes, then I will do it myself. It is my duty, as both Master Herder and as as her friend. She shall take her last breath, knowing she was always safest in my care. Of course. But damn it, freaking quest! Well, it looks like that's not going to be a quest that I'm doing, because I'm not really going to help her out with that. I assume. What? How long has that been there? Go away! I always forget about that thing in the corner. Even though it's supposed to be like a pop-up. <laughs> Why would you put a pop-up into your game? What is going on here? Friggin... I don't, I don't even want to know. Friggin elves and their kinky... whatever. Gammon! What's up? You have exceptionally pointy ears. You are the Dalish Grey Warden. And they're an Atitian. It, it is good to meet you. How do you know who I am? Everyone knows who you are. Oh, I'm... I'm very rude. Yes, you are. I should introduce myself. You should be bowing. Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. No, you never will. Your ears are far too pointy. So be one and stop wishing for it. I... Never mind. Just go away and leave me alone. I think I'm making people... things through the forest. What? Do the trees just get out of their way or what? the hell are you on about? Damn it! I told you to leave me alone. I don't really care for your attitude. Well, please just go away. I'm not worth your trouble. Damn it! I told you to leave me alone. How can... Tell me what your problem is. Suppose there's no harm in telling you. You know our ways. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of the beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. And you joined PETA? I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. Gaina? Oh, you have a crush on a girl? Girl problems? She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. So, I yes. I know child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt, and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just lead me to my misery. Freaking emo guy. There must be some way to solve your problem. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. 
Have you tried wooing her? Wooing? I don't understand. Of course not. Have you bedded her, man? No. We've never done anything like that. Never. <sighs> what am I gonna do yes, with you? That's probably for the best. What am I gonna do with you? Damn it! Okay, that thing, once again, uh, they're making me be nice here around town, and I'm trying not to be. I'm trying very hard not to be. So, oh, I can look at this one too. This is a different one. This is Andrew Hill. Goddess of the Hunt. Have you tried praying to her? Hey. Wooden crate. No, well, they're home. What am I gonna do with that? I'm gonna sell it to Vanathorn here, but there's more shinies. Well, just a couple, it looks like. Clan shield. Probably not that great. And holy crap, there we go. There we go. Elf flight arrows. Those are pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I'll have to equip those during a boss battle eventually. Should things prove to be a little bit more difficult than they were before. Anything in here? Dalish armor and a love letter. Codex updated. Yes, it's this one. Uh, what? Is it going to be up here? My darling Reginald, I burn for you, and because of you, please use the enclosed tincture if our love is to endure. My elf fruit. The herbalist suggested powdered bronto horn. I was very discreet. What the hell is going on in this fucking letter? I, I want to know. Like, that's not a rhetorical thing. What the hell's going on? I guess the game will tell me over time, maybe? But seriously... I want to know what the hell's going on. So let's talk to Varathorn here. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Varathorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. So you burnt it? You're not smelting ore like a Durgenlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Varathorn. It's because you suck. And so they should. Truly, the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. And Darren Atishan, friend. What the hell is he doing back, back there? Master Island at the last gathering. He is still hail, I hope. Uh... I don't have time to discuss niceties with you. No? As you wish. Though I find such an attitude curious. It is a Shemlin attitude to be so impatient and rushed. How I'm dare sure you. For he was once keeper of your clan. You carry many of his features. He spoke at a gathering, telling the clans that more of us need to voyage into the Shemlin world and learn their ways. He would be proud to see his son a Grey Warden, I think. Don't you dare talk about my father. I don't really care what he might have thought. Ah, oh, yes. I, I understand the circumstances of his passing world. Tragic. It is unpleasant to speak of such things. Irabellos. Sure. Give me equipment. Yes, yes. The keeper sent word that you might ask me for such. I took the liberty of assembling some goods that our hunters use. I notice you've already found the chest I placed it in. Feel free to sort through and take whatever you found there. If you've not done so already. I probably did. Anything else you, you got for, to give me for free? I have nothing left that the clan could spare, but we do have goods that we were going to bring to the Shemlin villages to barter with. I, I guess I can't just take those. I was kind of hoping to. Yes, you are advanced. What little of the craft I've learned has been passed on to me through generations. Such is the time it has taken us to learn a fraction of what has been lost. Of course. I do not make bows as fine as Master Islands, perhaps, but mine have caused more than one Shemlin to drool at the thought of possessing them. There is wood that, if treated properly, is as hard as steel, but far lighter. It grows only in this forest. Ironbark. The Keeper has forbidden us from entering the forest to collect the wood. This means I cannot make our finest crafts for years to come. If I found it for you, will you make me a weapon? I would be hesitant to ask it of you, but if you should come across Ironbark, I suppose there would be no harm in gathering some. It is blue and very distinctive. You can only harvest the bark which has fallen off the tree from age. Uh, if you find some, bring it to me, and I will craft it for you. 
What item would you make? I excel in making blades from the iron bark, or, really? or perhaps a breastplate. Provided there's enough wood, that is. Fair enough. I'll take a look when, when I'm in the forest, yeah. That would please me. So long as our hunters come first. I know. But give me... I am me no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. Let me tell you the things I loot around town here. Uh, let me take care of this off screen. I'm pretty sure he's not going to have anything necessarily new. And I'll probably get some crafting done as well. Silver brooch is a gift. Actually, I will be buying this as well. But then everything else I will take care of off screen. Okay, so I did buy a few things, including a recipe for Morgan uh, with her herbalism so I can make health poultices. So I did have to, have to buy a few distillation agents. He only had three of them. However, now I should have enough uh, so that I can uh, get these guys back onto the health poultice instead of the lesser uh, health poultices. And that was pretty much it. That was pretty much it. Nothing too fancy there. I did get an achievement for crafting so damn much, though. Uh, once again, these people want me to do things for them. Who, who's this guy over here? I don't think I talked to you yet. I don't think I talked to Athras. No, I don't think so. Anathara, friend. Right. It is good to see another of the wandering clans. Where is your clan now, if I might ask? Don't care. I've been separated from them for one some time. I see. Oh. I am glad you have become part of such a respectful organization as the Grey Wardens, however. What are you trying to say? I understand you will search for the wolves in the Brazilian forest. I would join you, but Zathrian has forbidden me. Good thing. You guys seem very happy about that. None of us are happy about this situation. And I least of all. But I shouldn't trouble you with this. You have your own concerns, I am certain. You shall be good in my army. Of course, my friend. May the creators watch over your journey. Okay, so once again, I could do a quest for him, but... I'd All of this is being nice to people in town, so I'm going to avoid it. I'm trying to be evil. I fail at it most of the time, but I'm still trying, damn it. So I believe we need to head east here into the forest. I will gather my party and venture forth. It's good to be prepared. Yeah, no, we're not giving everybody ranged weapons. I'm not giving everybody a bow, even though that might be a good idea. I, r I would much rather have them running up and doing oh, melee attacks. Here I thought I had left the wilds behind for good. Oh, shut up. We are doing this for, for archers, damn it. I need archers in my army. Nobody has ever won an army without range. In, in uh, any battles, any wars. You need range, damn it. And we have wolves. So everybody on him. Everybody on him. You guys too. And I shouldn't if it's just the one. Oh shit. That would be a werewolf. That would... Why can't I go out anymore? That would be a werewolf. Fine, I'll just stand here. What are we doing? Shattering shot now. That is new. And Winter's Grasp on you. You need to still hit that guy. And you need to hit that guy as well. Fuck, we got werewolves. Okay, game froze on me when the werewolf decided to attack. What? Here are only monsters. Yes, everything here is a monster. So don't feel bad about killing it, okay, Stan? We are moving on. There should be a wolf that comes here soon. Let's hang out here. And there we go. Now we can all attack. And we're in much better positions now. And there comes the werewolf. Why is the camera still moving on me? Go, Shattering Shot. You need to do a Winter's Grasp. Uh, you can do an Overpower. And you can do a Pummel Strike on him. Holy shit. <laughs> this probably isn't going to work out well. Can I, I can't really move thing, people over. Okay, uh, yeah, hit one of the werewolves. Uh, hit him with a shattering shot. Uh, what was that? Force field. Do that on... Uh, can I do it on Alistair? Wait, what am I doing? That's not going to help any. Uh, go for a mind blast. Uh, you go for a... I don't even know what that was. Shield pommel. 
And you go for a mighty blow. Holy crap. All right, down he goes. We are now going to attack. No, we are going to attack another werewolf now. Uh, we're going to hit this guy. Uh, you're going to hit him with a winter's grasp. No, this guy with a winter's grasp. You're going to just uh, hit him. Hopefully that freezes him. And you're going to hit him as well. Holy crap, she, that's not doing so well with... Uh, with Alistair. I, I would normally use the force field, but they don't have any melee guys here. So, or sorry, ranged guys, so we're just gonna stick with this. Can you use that now? You can! And you go for pinning a shot. Okay, another one down, another one down. Now we are going to hit this guy. If you could hit him with a crippling shot, that'd be greatly appreciated. You're still on. Yeah, everybody on that guy. We can't do a winner's grasp? Fine, then just hit him. Uh, you can't do anything, and you can't really do anything. But you guys need to. You are attacking him, right? Yeah. Everybody on the werewolf. We can worry about the normal wolf later. But right now, we need to focus on the werewolf. Were means harder, and you should be attacking him. All right, we froze him, and down he goes. So our next target is this guy right here because he's being a little douche. So then everybody is now on this guy. And we shouldn't need to use too many abilities here. Yeah, not too much at all, not too much. And then everybody just hit him. Uh, hit him with an overpower. What the hell is going on here? No. Uh, hit him with an overpower, and you hit him with a mighty blow. And we should be good. We should be good. What did you tell me, Alistair? You didn't say shit. Did these guys drop anything good? They drop money, which is decent. There's just going to be one guy. This is going to be easy as hell. This is going to be easy. He's got nothing on the rambling, shambling corpses. Uh, can I go up this way? I can. If it's just two of them and they're both regular. Oh, uh, we also have a blight wolf. That guy shouldn't be too tough either. Wait, Alistair. Wait, why do you guys have... Yeah. Why, why aren't you guys using that? Why weren't you using that? Wolf pelt. Um, hopefully if I find it, the guy will be happy enough with it. I don't know the path that I'm supposed to be going here, to be honest with you. They are giving me long, winding roads. And no real means of where I need to go. That would be a waterfall. That is not how waterfalls look. Not even close. Is there anything down here? By the waterfall. A skeleton! With ice arrows. More arrows! I'm not using those very often at all, to be honest with you. I probably should upgrade those from time to time, uh, especially during boss battles, start bringing in the, uh, the specialty arrows that do more damage. But I'm not. Just not. And they're not letting me go that way? There's clearly a wooden log that should let me go that way. Once again, the the pathing on this game is a little difficult. I see two giant werewolves over there. Okay, three. We have the Swift Runner, so I'm going to hit him first because he has a special name. And that's all that I... What the hell? No, 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 no get back here. Um, sup? You're not going to attack me? They can talk. Another of the Dalish come to put us in our place. Come to make us pay for our attack. You will die, Swift Runner. I thought you were savage beasts. We are beasts, but we are no longer simple and mindless. Let that thought chill your spine. It doesn't. You speak to Swift Runner. I leave my cursed brothers and sisters. Turn back now. 
Go back to the Dalish and tell them that you have failed. Oh, I will kick your ass. Tell them we will gladly watch them suffer the same curse we have suffered for too long. We will watch them pay. You guys are kind of cool looking werewolves, although... You should have fur on your thigh. Whatever. I would prefer to talk to you. No. No. Unless you can tell me where Witherfang is. Where is Witherfang? You think we would help you find the Great Wolf? You think we would let you kill him? Then you are a fool. Hey, come brothers and sisters. Swift Runner calls you to battle. Drive this invader from our midst. And, uh, as expected, it's battle time. Holy crap, why am I all the way back here? Everybody, focus on Swift Runner first. Uh, Winter's Grass. No, you know, in fact, go for a Mind Blast. Just go for a good old-fashioned Mind Blast on, on everybody. And then you go for a Shield Bash to stun him, and you go for a Pummel Strike. Now, we can go for a Shattering Shot. You're already doing lightning. Uh, let's go for a Winner's Grasp. Uh, you go for an Overpower, and you go for a Mighty Blow. We are doing pretty good here. Pretty good. Uh, once again, Force Field. Uh, but cannot move Friendly Fire possible. I don't know about that one. I don't know. So just, just keep hitting him. Just keep hitting him. Uh, you hit him with a shield pummel. You are out of abilities. Enough. The forest has eyes of its own, and it shall deal with you. You have been warned. Seriously, I was kicking your ass. Fine, just walk off then, on your two legs. Why does it keep moving? Okay. No, we're focusing on, on Charles here. So. What? <laughs> I don't remember this lore of uh, werewolves. Rabid werewolves. Oh crap, there's a whole shit ton of them. 